career. Alice was born in Newport, Arkansas, in 1949, and grew up in a family that was focused on business. Her father started Walmart in 1962, and Alice and her siblings grew up working in the stores. After graduating from Trinity University in San Antonio, Texas, Alice started her own career in finance. Alice began her career as an equity analyst and money manager, working for First Commerce Corporation and then E.F. Hutton. In 1988, she founded Llama Company, an investment bank, and served as its president and CEO. Llama Company specialized in corporate finance and mergers and acquisitions, and was a huge success. In the 1990s, Alice turned her attention to art. She founded the Crystal Bridges Museum of American Art in Bendonville, Arkansas, in 2011, with the goal of bringing great American art to the people of her hometown. The museum features works by artists such as Norman Rockwell, Andy Warhol, and George O'Keefe. Alice has also been a philanthropist throughout her career. She has donated millions of dollars to education, healthcare, and the arts. In 2016, she donated $250 million to the University of Arkansas, the largest gift in the school's history. House Alice Walton's mansion, called Crystal Bridges Museum of American Art, is located in Bentonville, Arkansas. The mansion sits on 120 acres of beautifully landscaped grounds and features a stunning glass and copper exterior. The mansion was designed by renowned architect Moshe Safi and opened its doors to the public in 2011. The Crystal Bridges Museum of American Art features a permanent collection of American art from colonial times to contemporary art. The museum's collection includes works by artists such as Norman Rockwell, Andy Warhol, and George O'Keefe. The museum is not just a stunning display of art but also features beautiful walking trails and a peaceful stream that runs through the property. The museum also has several outdoor art installations, making it a must-see for art lovers. The mansion itself is over 200.000 square feet and features several galleries, a restaurant, a library, and an auditorium. The museum also has a state-of-the-art research center that is dedicated to the study of American art. Car Collection First up is the 1949 Cadillac Series 62 Convertible. This classic car was restored to perfection and is one of the most valuable cars in Walton's collection. With its sleek lines and luxurious interior, it's no wonder why it's a favorite of Walton's. Next, we have the 1963 Chevrolet Corvette Stingray. This iconic sports car is a must-have for any serious car collector. Walton's version is a rare split-window coupe, which makes it even more valuable. Moving on, we have the 1954 Mercedes-Benz 300 SL Goldwing. This car is considered by many to be the most beautiful car ever made, and Walton's version is no exception. With its distinctive Goldwing doors and powerful engine, it's sure to turn heads wherever it goes. Another standout in Walton's collection is the 1979 Porsche 930 Turbo. This car was ahead of its time, featuring a turbocharged engine and aerodynamic body design. It's one of the fastest cars in Walton's collection and a joy to drive. Last but not least, we have the 2011 Lexus LFA. This supercar was designed to compete with the likes of Ferrari and Lamborghini, and it definitely holds its own. With its sleek design and high-performance engine, it's a favorite of Walton's when she wants to really let loose on the road. Net Worth Alice Walton is not just one of the richest women in the world, but one of the wealthiest people on the planet. With an estimated net worth of over $57 billion, Alice Walton is known for her opulent lifestyle and extravagant spending habits. Alice Walton is the daughter of Walmart founder Sam Walton, and inherited a fortune after his death in 1992. Sam Walton's creation, Walmart, is one of the largest retailers in the world, and has helped Alice Walton become one of the wealthiest people in America. Over, Alice Walton's passion lies not in retail, but in art. In 2011, she opened the Crystal Bridges Museum of American Art, which houses a collection of works valued at over $500 million. She reportedly owns a 62-foot yacht, named Seahorse, which is valued at over $20 million.